Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So what I'm doing for you all in this video is your self-care reading for the week of October 4th through the 10th. Now I know I usually do a more like general weekly reading, but I really felt called to hone in on self-care for this week. Um, that's just what I feel like is really going on in the collective. Um, and I kind of thought that's what I would like this week as well. So that being said, here we have group one with Garnet. We have group two with Sunstone. And we have group three with Moonstone. All right, so if you need to take some time to meditate on the cards, connect to your intuition, get some water or some tea, take some deep breaths, whatever, that is fine. And I'm going to get started with group one. All right, group one, so let us dive on in to your self-care reading for the week ahead. Now, first we have Nourish Your Temple. And we also have Movement. All right, so what I'm seeing here with these two together is that it's definitely going to be a balance of doing the kind of um, the inner healing, taking care of your body, whatever it is, especially if you've been feeling low energy, um, if you've been feeling that you have very stagnant energy, um, <laughs> that things just aren't moving and you also may even feel just some kind of exhausted, whatever it is that your body is telling you, this card is really telling me that you need to really go within. A lot of you, it may be food. A lot of you, it may be some kind of shadow work that needs to be done. Um, it could be something like a uh, massage or bathing something. This is one of the more like all encompassing ones. Nourish your temple. That is so broad. Um, as I said, yeah, this could be like, you know, energy healing as well. Really any kind of healing. Um, even if you're not like a, you know, master healer or whatever, I'm seeing that for a lot of you, if you just like look up some techniques, if you've been kind of wanting to dabble um, in healing arts as well, I'm seeing that that would be um, very fruitful for you. I'm also seeing nature imagery here. So, you know, that could be something that really nourishes and grounds you in the week ahead. And then movement, okay? Like I was saying about the stagnant energy. Um, but the balance here, okay? So definitely make sure that you're you're giving your body the kind of groundwork, the kind of foundation that you can welcome in, you know, movement, <laughs> that you have the energy to move, that you have, um, you know, that your mind is in a place where you want to move, where you want to, I'm seeing this as both, you know, balancing the healing with the real world, maybe um, work or something, something that you may not have been wanting to get done. I'm seeing that that inner work, healing your actual body as well, is really going to help you to be more motivated and it's going to make you feel a lot better. But also things like um, dance or literally just like moving around doing something goofy is really going to help get that energy flowing as well. Sometimes it's the simplest things like just doing some kind of like silly <laughs> just like throwing my cards everywhere um just doing something silly is what i'm getting um the energy feels like you know things may have been both stagnant and serious and so there is kind of a need for that more like um, calm, a little more serious, healing, connecting with nature. Again, as I said, for some of you, like energy healing, um, massage, things like that, really just taking care of your, your body and your energy, um, and then put it into action. Do some movement, do some dance, wiggle around, whatever it is, okay? It could be yoga, um, Pilates, if you're a little more intense than I am. Oh my goodness, I'm kind of bad at Pilates. It's kind of funny, um, but you do you. So next here we have the Two of Cups. Okay, so I did want to get into a little bit of the predictive energies, even though it's mostly self-care. And we have a new start is coming. But what I'm seeing for you is that you're really feeling called to really get your your um your temple in order and to move the energy because it feels like 
while obviously a new start is coming like there's just something that you've been wanting and that's really emphasizing that I was getting that stagnant energy feeling stuck feeling like you know for some of you even devastated maybe you lost something or someone and since then it's just felt like nothing's moving and nothing's going right but this two of cups I'm really feeling like a very deep connection you know this could be romantic it could be platonic I really feel a lot of you though have really been feeling this in your heart really with the imagery here um, I do feel for most of you that are single it's romantic honestly that's what I'm getting with the way it's lining up and just the energy I'm feeling um, but you know if that does not resonate with you it could certainly be platonic it could be someone from your soul family coming through two of cups is so lovely to pop up in a reading and just the way it is here it just looks so lovely it feels so beautiful um, it feels like this is someone who's going to be incredibly supportive and they're going to really be kind of a you know a grounding pillar in your life as well as very uplifting for you so this is someone who's also really getting their energy in order who's getting very balanced um, kind of likes to have fun with this movement card um, their energy certainly moves around and dances a new start is coming so this is um you know this is someone who's coming in it could be someone from your past but most of you a new start you know this is probably someone you've never met but it could certainly be if you're feeling you're really resonating with I think it's someone from my past who has changed well that could certainly be a new start you know this isn't a love reading <laughs> but that is what's coming up but with the two of cups as well the two of cups and a new start is coming it just feels like this is going to really help your emotional energy if you've been feeling very emotionally down i do see things starting to look up you know if you kind of heed the guidance that was a horn um so let's just take that as confirmation from spirit and or my neighbors um <laughs> yeah but um if you've been feeling really negative emotions if you've been feeling very sad or angry or frustrated you know it's not all going to get better in one day but i am definitely seeing that it's turning around these um you know these self-care cards nourish your temple and movement are coming through to tell you that hey you know things are going to be okay let's just do some of this and then this will come that emotional fulfillment that for a lot of you is also going to manifest in a new partner be they platonic or romantic okay so that's what i'm seeing for you group one i hope that resonated and i hope you have a lovely week full of lots of really lovely self-care ahead and i'll talk to you in my next video all right group two so let's get into your self-care reading for the week ahead so we have journal that's pretty straightforward right <laughs> i love that one and we have energy work okay so i'm seeing this in a very beautiful way energy work and journal now these could be totally separate but that is rarely the case the way spirit works with us let's be honest um i'm really seeing that a lot of you have most likely kind of been in the energy of doing the energy of doing some kind of energy work maybe even some shadow work um truthfully that could be like clearing out some blocks in your energy so for a lot of you it may not be like physical energy healing where you're seeing a healer or you're healing yourself with just you know energy i'm really feeling it's very shadow work oriented um where you're journaling things or you're coming into this energy um if you're not doing this this is what could benefit you in the week ahead um it's to really write down things that have and i really want to um pull out your tarot card a little early because we have the seven of swords and so what i'm seeing here um that that's emphasizing to me is to write down um you know things that you're hung up on especially people who have hurt you in the past i'm seeing energetic blocks that are from you holding on to the times that people have deceived you hurt you and especially just like yeah deceived and lied to you just writing that down and saying like you know what harboring this negative emotions is not doing anything you know this person whoever this is it's hurt you or these people you know they're gonna do what they're gonna do okay they're gonna do 
what they're gonna do and you can do what's best for you now you can heal yourself you can move forward you know for some of you maybe it was um, pretty traumatic um, but still there's always that energy of even if someone did something that was terribly wrong what can you do for yourself what can you do for your peace and your clarity of energy and your health of energy that's really what i'm seeing for you and i i am really feeling kind of a heaviness with that i'm feeling a heaviness in my solar plexus and my throat and honestly for some of you in the third eye as well so i feel like someone really in your past kind of affected your confidence maybe for some of you also affected your ability to feel like you are heard to feel like your voice matters and for a lot of you it's very hard for you to like um to trust and to see the truth there's a lot like i was saying like deception like someone hurt you and now you're just not confident in yourself um and for some of you, maybe this is more buried. Maybe there's just a little, there's a little blip in one of these energies. This doesn't mean like, oh, your energies are just all broken, UMS. No, that's not the case for most of you, certainly. Um, unless you really feel like, you know what, my energy is kind of a mess, then roll with it, okay? But what I am seeing is that something that would be very beneficial for everyone who really resonated with group two is to write down those times that someone hurt you and to recognize that that was a reflection of them. Especially when you were younger, sometimes we view all those memories as if we were still like five years old. You know, someone in your family, some one of your friends, or maybe you're like, uh, depending on how old you are maybe you're like 18 years old you dated someone who wasn't great for you they hurt you and you still view that memory through the lens of like 18 year old you versus where if you really look at it where you are now after all the growth you've done you realize that that truly is a reflection of them someone lied to you okay let's go with that one it wasn't because you deserve to be lied to it's because that person had some issue they were taking that out on you and they shouldn't have and if you journal that out it allows you to release so much of that energy you know for some situations we do have to dive in a little bit further but just writing it out and saying you know what i don't think that way anymore that doesn't resonate with me i don't want to hold on to that um, that wasn't right of them and had nothing to do with me that releases so much of the energy so that's what I'm feeling there I know that was a little tangent but I felt it was necessary group two and last but certainly not least because it's so beautiful <laughs> we have prosperity lies ahead okay so for some of you especially wherever this block is <laughs> if it's making you feel like um, things will never get better in that area like I'll never be able to see the truth I will never feel confident or I will never feel heard I will never feel like I can express myself this is gonna help you move forward and move on to like real success in that area and the fact that prosperity lies ahead is here really feels like you're on the brink of something very very special group two i know this is more um centered on self-care but it feels like when you're doing all this self-care when you're journaling out those things that have hurt you when you're clearing out whatever energy blips and or blockages or um you know weaknesses that you personally may have trust me i definitely have them too you know i always talk about my throat chakra issues that always pop up so fun um, <laughs> so fun as someone who talks into a microphone for their thing um but yeah it's really it's really beautiful what's coming forward you literally have new moon and taurus prosperity lies ahead just believe it just accept that if you're someone who's really hesitant to believe good news maybe this is some of that work that needs to be done literally i'm seeing for some of you like i picked up prosperity lies ahead and what you need to journal about this week is why you thought that's impossible why you think that's a lie that's never going to happen to me that's for someone else that part doesn't resonate with me because i'm never going to be successful if that was you journal on that please because it's coming it wants to come to you it really wants to do beautiful things for you this energy that's coming for you um and there's just some kind of block here 
And once that's, um, once that's released, the pain is released, and this block is removed, things are going to flow really, really beautifully for you um, in life in general. And also, it feels like in relationships, if friendships and or romantic relationships have been very rocky for you, it feels like prosperity in that area of your life is really going to be looking up as well. So that's what I'm seeing for you, group two. I really hope that resonated. I hope you have a beautiful week ahead of you, and I'll talk to you in my next video. All right, group three, so let's get into your self-care reading for the week ahead. Ooh, so we have abundance planning. And we have make a meal. All right, and I was kind of laying the cards out one at a time for the other groups, but you're special, group three, because there are a lot of really amazing synchronicities for you and yours. Even though there's only four cards, um, I tend to read for a while on each one. Um, but you have the Ten of Coins or the Ten of Pentacles lining up with your abundance planning, okay? And we have Meditate and Contemplate lining up with your make a meal now i'm going to start with this one because this is a less obvious correlation when make a meal came up you know this could certainly mean <laughs> look at me being disorganized with the cards bear with me i'm a human okay so when make a meal came up I just knew that for some of you, yes, this means to make a meal for yourself, nourish yourself that way. Certainly for most of you, that would definitely not hurt, okay? Make yourself something as healthy as you can afford to. Um, spirit is not classist. If you can't afford like gourmet ingredients, certainly don't break the bank doing that. But what I was really getting for those of you that like, you know, that's not your thing and you know that's just like not vibing with you. Um, meditate and contemplate came out and I just knew this was more about the meditative aspect of like cutting up the vegetables like frying up whatever it is being in your own energy and you know preparing yourself something for yourself to nourish yourself there's just something there's so many beautiful aspects of that you're putting your own energy into the energy of like these gifts from nature um truly miracles. I mean, if you think of all the steps that go into making food, <laughs> I mean, it's truly miraculous. And that's something that often goes just taken completely for granted. Um, or perhaps I'm just a total hippie when it comes to vegetables. Um, but meditate and contemplate here. I'm just seeing that for you in the week ahead, making simple things into a meditation, like when you get dressed, like are you mindful about it? Are you aware of the thoughts going through your head, the process of picking out your clothes when you're in the shower? Are you very mindful of what you're doing? That's really what I'm getting from make a meal, lining up to meditate and contemplate, is to really be very mindful of all of the simple things you're doing. Be grateful for the simple things that really, you know, truthfully not everyone has all of the things that we often take for granted. I truthfully, um, you know, kind of recently went through this with water, especially um, when I realized sometimes I'm like, Ugh, I have to drink more water. I don't want to drink more water. When there are people who would be so happy <laughs> to have access to clean and in my case, like filtered water, not everyone has that. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for you. Um, I could go into 9,000 examples, but I feel like you get the gist. Turn normal things into a meditation, showers, getting dressed, eating, etc. Now, abundance planning and Ten of Pentacles. The energy of abundance is upon you. <laughs> Group three, it's like time. It's coming definitely soon for you. It's literally in your cards. Abundance planning and Ten of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing is that there could just be some kind of logistical things in the way. Um, your thoughts need to be a little more organized. If you feel like, especially for those of you who feel like you like know what you want to do, um, you know what your calling is, you know how you want to um, make that money, especially for you. Um, just putting it down, like making it real, saying I'm going to do these things and this is when I'm going to do them, this is how I'm going to do them, or even 
You know, what I'm getting for some of you is that you have really beautiful creative ideas that a lot of people would want to hear, they would want to know about, they would want to kind of like bask in that energy. <laughs> I said bask in again. <laughs> for those of you who enjoyed that last time. Um, they want to bask upon that energy um, and to start writing them down and you can like, I don't know, tell people. It doesn't even have to be like some huge thing. This could more be about the kind of energetic exchange here. Ten of Pentacles, yes, like it means that coin, but really that coin is just energy being exchanged. And that's what I'm seeing here, being more organized and mindful. See how that ties together? Being more mindful about the energy that you exchange with people. It's really, really the big thing I'm seeing for you. But abundance planning, you know, what that could mean is for those of you who are really unsure about what you want to do, we're not going to leave you out. <laughs> um, this could mean just like going through it. Like, I don't want to do this. I do want to do this. Narrowing it down, I'm really seeing is going to bring you closer to this because the fact that Ten of Pentacles came up um, with your abundance planning, it really feels everyone who really did resonate with group three, please believe that like, you know, you're definitely on the track to this Ten of Pentacles kind of very grounded, very, 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 <laughs> very fulfilled, like kind of all-encompassing home life filled with the abundance that you want. Now, if this is a smaller house that you're wanting, it doesn't mean that the universe is going to throw a mansion on your lap that you don't want. This is whatever is going to make you feel grounded and comfortable. This is what's in the cards for you. Um, but what I'm seeing at whatever stage you're at, if you're like, I don't know what I want to do, I do know, but I don't know the steps. Or if you're thinking, I just need to be a little more organized right now. Um, or budgeting. I'm really seeing budgeting as well for some of you. See the, the little numbers here. Budgeting could be um could be something that some of you maybe need to be a little bit um better at that I feel like I just called myself out. Um <laughs> that's really I feel like this went in a few different um directions because you know we're all at a different state with our abundance, especially right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um well, that's what I'm seeing for you. I really hope that resonated in group three. I hope you have a lovely week and I'll talk to you in my next video.